this weekend, an incredible feat took place. The Kenyan runner, Eliud Kipchoge, became the first person ever to run a marathon in less than two hours. Um, you may not know if you're not familiar with running, but a marathon is 26.2 miles or 42.2 kilometers. To run it in under two hours, he kept an average pace of 21.1 kilometers per hour. Um, I don't know about you, but personally, that's about as fast as I can go on a velib. <laughs> I can't make a velib go any faster than 21 kilometers per hour. So this is an incredible accomplishment, but it didn't take place in an official race. Um, this was a special event just to sort of explore what humans are capable of, called INEOS 159. It's called that because the British chemical company INEOS sponsored this event. Um, they've sponsored other sporting events in the past. So this was the setup for this special event to see if Kipchoge could break, the, could break two hours in the marathon. He um, had to do 4.4 laps of a flat 4.3 kilometer course in Vienna, Austria. It wasn't a very exciting course, but I think they chose it because it's flat and the terrain is very predictable. Um, there were also spectators the whole length of the course who were cheering him on while he ran. Just as a side note, this was Kipchoge's second attempt to break two hours in the marathon. And this time, it was his request that fans be allowed on the course. Um, he must like the encouragement and the support, but who wouldn't if you were running for two hours? Uh, Kipchoge's first attempt to break two hours in the marathon was in 2017. That's when Nike sponsored an event for him and two other elite distance runners. That event was called Breaking Two, and Kipchoge um, was the first finisher in that event, but he missed the two-hour mark. He was a little bit slower than two hours. And it seems, based on what I read, that fans were not allowed at Breaking Two. So maybe that's what made the difference this year. Maybe it made a difference to have all this encouragement and cheering and support. It's also worth mentioning that during this year's event, in Neos 159, Kipchoge was assisted by a team of 41 pacers. That's 41 different people who took turns running with him over the two hours of his race. Pacers run next to or ahead of the runner to help them stick to their goal pace. I think that in this case, his pacers ran in front of him in a V shape so he could draft off of them. There was less wind resistance. Obviously, the pacers for this event were also extraordinary athletes. The group included um, men who have won Olympic medals and who have won world championships for different running distances. Many of his pacers were also Kenyan, but some of them were from America or Australia or Ethiopia or Uganda. I'll stop there. That's a good halfway point.